She needs a job. <laughs> In my preparing notes for my introduction of Ethan, I forgot all about that, Ethan. I don't know how that slipped my mind. <laughs> Ethan Raggy is the Carl M. Reinert SJ Male Student Athlete of the Year. Ethan has a 3.22 grade point average and is majoring in finance, marketing, and entrepreneurship. Ethan is an all Missouri Valley Conference all academic team selection. He was sixth man of the year in the Missouri Valley Conference and is a critical member of the two-time defending Missouri Valley Conference Tournament Championship men's basketball team. Ethan's community service projects are really too many to mention, but I'm gonna go through just a few. You see the time demands that are put upon our student athletes for their academics and their basketball or their sport. Ethan has been involved in the Just, Just Read program, Abide Network, Teddy Bear Hollow Run, Teammates, Down Syndrome Walk, Boys Town, Omaha Police and Fire Departments, Children's Hospital, Quality Living Institute, and also has volunteered at some of the following schools, say, Column Kill, Mary R. Queen, Sandoz Elementary, St. Albert's, Hill Rise Elementary, and, and I'm sure I'm missing a ton. So, for community service, academic accomplishments, and athletic accomplishments, the Carl M. Reinert SJ, Male Athlete of the Year, Ethan Raggy. Kick that stool out of the way, Bruce. <laughs> All right. Thank you for this award, Bruce. It means a lot to me and my family. And I'd also like to congratulate Christy, Dan, Nate, and Megan on their awards also. Well, while I was sitting down trying to figure out what to say in this speech, I kept coming back to the thought of family and what this Creighton family has meant to me, and what this Creighton family has meant to me over the last four years. If it means from Bruce taking care of each student athlete like they're his own kid, or to Coach Mack yelling at me to pass it instead of shoot a three for once. <laughs> to having Steve, Lisa, and John keep you through, help you through any school situation, you guys have always made me feel taken care of at this Creighton family. And I would like to thank Bruce, Coach Mack, Steve, Lisa, and John, for all that you have done for me over the years to make me feel a part of your Creighton family. This Creighton family culture that we have here has rubbed off on all, in, all our athletic teams, making us the strong and successful individuals we have in here today. Spider-Man's uncle told him, with great power comes great responsibility. I, I think this quote directly applies to us as student athletes. We as student athletes have been blessed with talent and opportunities that, that afford us the privilege to be role models throughout this Omaha community. It is our responsibility that we give back to them. If this means from Doug taking 100 pictures at West Road's Mall to our whole team running the Teddy Bear Hollow, these actions, while meaningful to us, are many times priceless to others. It is just one way that we show thanks to the Omaha community for all it has done for us. It is important that we give back to the community that supports us and provides for us. With all the community work that Creighton student athletes have done over the years, we are not only becoming one Creighton, like Father Lannon has been saying, but we are becoming one Omaha community as well, I believe. Finally, I would like to thank the entire coaching staff, D-Rock, Lutz, Murph, Lou, B, Glenn, and Donnie for all you have done for me. I'd like to thank Ben McNair for dealing with me. I've been in the training room quite a lot through my career. I would like to thank Coach Bailey for putting some bulk on this beauty. I would also like to thank my teammates for all, for all the love and jokes you guys have given me on a daily basis. I would not trade anything in the world for you guys. You truly are the best. And hopefully maybe one of you will get in Cosmo next year. <laughs> Finally, I would like to thank my family, especially my parents, for all, for all the miles you guys have traveled to all my games and to the countless support you have given me throughout my life. You guys truly are the best. I'm sure the CenturyLink Center would also like to thank you for your continued beverages sales over the year. There was one story I do want to tell about my parents, though. Growing up, my dad in particular was always on me to not shoot three-pointers. 
you would always tell me shooting that far out is going to ruin your shot. Don't do it. I was not cleared to shoot a three-pointer in a game until I was in eighth grade. So in eighth grade, my dad told me shooting a three-pointer would now be as easy as shooting a layup. Well, here we are today, Dad, and I would like to publicly thank you for making way to eighth grade. Thank you again for this award. It is a true honor, and go Jays. Oh, and for the record, Doug didn't steal my girlfriend. <laughs>